Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation on saltwater crocodiles. My name is Randall and I'll be your narrator for today. <clears throat> Let's get started. This is Lolong, the largest saltwater crocodile ever found in the Philippines. This massive beast was measured to be 20 feet and 3 inches in length and weighed 2,370 pounds. But you may all be wondering, what is a saltwater crocodile? The saltwater crocodile, or its scientific name, the Crocodilus porosus, also known as the sea crocodile, the estuarine crocodile, or the salties by the Australians. The saltwater crocodiles is one of the most unique species of crocodiles out there as far as evolution goes. As the name states, these crocodiles inhabit the saltwater regions of the world, but they are also perfectly comfortable in living in freshwater as well. They are part of the phylum Chordata, the genus Crocodilus, family Crocodilidae, the order Crocodilia, and is part of the reptile class. Their lifespan is about 60 to 70 plus years. They are also the biggest reptiles in the world as the males can grow up from anywhere from 14 to 23 feet in length or 5 to 7 meters while females grow up to, to be 6 to 7 feet in length or 2 to 3 meters. <clears throat> this, this map shows the distribution of their species all around Asia and Australia. According to this map, the saltwater crocodile has an established population in Indonesia, northern Australia, Papua New Guinea, eastern India, and Asia. They are also native to warm temperatures area in eastern India and the western Pacific Ocean. As mentioned earlier, these species of crocodiles inhabit the saltwater regions of the world. These include mangrove forests, swamps, beaches, and brackish waters and billabongs. <clears throat> the diet of young saltwater crocodiles is very limited, as it only consists of small amphibians, insects, and other small fishes. As for the adult saltwater crocodiles, they are also known to be opportunistic feeders as they prey on a variety of species ranging from small fishes and rabbits, crustaceans, birds, sharks, monkeys, wild boars, stingrays, turtles, deers, water buffaloes, kangaroos, and other crocodiles, and even humans. Saltwater crocodiles attack about 30 people each year, with 50% of them being fatal. These crocodiles do sound very dangerous, but there is one that's even more dangerous, the Nile crocodile, which attacks about 200 to 700 people a year, with 60% of them being fatal. While sharks are one of the most feared animals, they attack only 1 in 10 of pe people, and only 1 in 10 of those attacks are fatal. A surprising fact was that um, coconuts are uh, actually kill up to 150 people a year. The reproduction of saltwater crocodiles are that they reproduce sexually and have internal fertilization in which they lay around 40 to 60 eggs in a nest while being incubated for 80 to 90 days. Once the younglings hatch, they chirp to signal to their mothers, such as this video on the left, And these chirps are to signal for the mother to bring them, to carry them in, the, in her mouth to the water, as seen in this video. As you can see, she is picking up all her younglings and carrying them in her mouth without hurting them and bringing them to the water. You may be asking, what is the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Well, Alligators are physically different from crocodiles due to their U-shaped snouts as opposed to crocodiles with their V-shaped snouts. As well, as alligators only live in freshwater while crocodiles have species that live in both freshwater and saltwater regions. An alligator is much smaller than a crocodile with its lower teeth hidden unlike the crocodiles which is larger with its lower teeth visible. The difference between saltwater and freshwater crocodiles, or also known as salties and freshies, is that the salties are relatively larger than freshies, though the salties hold a bigger advantage in the, in, than the freshies. The, fr the freshies have them one up in terms of speed. Salties have a bigger snout as opposed to the freshies' thinner snout, where inside there is an equal distribution of sharp teeth which helps the freshie catch fast-moving prey. Whereas the salties have unequal distribution of teeth, salties are more, way more territorial than the freshies are, and as they are more social. Either way, it may not be wise to approach either of them in the first place. The ecological importance of the saltwater is that it is an apex predator which will control populations of other animals within the habitat. They also prevent the overpopulation of their species because sometimes they eat their young. Lastly, the saltwater crocodile sometimes modifies the aquatic systems by scaring off other animals during a drought so they don't drink all the water. 
<clears throat> Economically, saltwater crocodiles are very useful for humans, with their hides, or their skin, selling for at least $9 per centimeter. For example, a 40 centimeter hide is worth at least $360, making it very valuable skin. The hide can be used to produce goods such as wallets, handbags, boots, belts, and hats, and with the teeth also being used for pretty cool necklaces. Crocodile farms are created for the production of the, of the goods I listed. Legally, of course. In, in conclusion, this is one of the most fascinating and unique species of crocodiles to exist. As they are the biggest reptiles in the world, they are practically living dinosaurs. These were also my favorite to research on. Thank you for tuning to our presentation. And here we have all the references that is needed.